is up, Mini Gang, it's Mini Producer, and I'm back with another 5 in 5. And for today's topic, I'm talking about the top 5 social media outlets that you should be using if you're a music producer. In no particular order, let's get into it. First one, TikTok. Now, I know some of y'all are like, oh, why should I use TikTok? It's just for kids. No, I'm telling you, there's a whole audience on TikTok that literally loves music producers. I'm on there right now, and... Things are popping off for me. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm getting the views, I'm getting the comments, the engagement, and I can see through my Google Analytics bonus tip uh, is that it tells me a lot of my traffic actually comes from TikTok. So, there you go. If that doesn't tell you what to do, then get on TikTok, show yourself, you know, playing beats and stuff like that, or, you know, find a creative way to show people what you do, or maybe educate them if you're a teacher. Uh, and that's how you can use TikTok. Number two is Twitter. Listen, I just started getting, like, really great with Twitter. I honestly wasn't that good with it, but I'm loving it now. I've actually been posting my videos that I put on TikTok. Not with the TikTok, like, sign on it. Um, I just post the actual video I made prior to putting it on TikTok. And I put it on Twitter with just some kind of tweet, you know, to go alongside with it. And people engage with it. It's really working out for me. I know I talked about this in my podcast about engagement tweets and, you know, producers have had issues with, like, people doing engagement tweets. But I think an engagement tweet can really encompass a lot of things and it doesn't have to look like, yo, producers, what's your favorite food? You know, you can, an engagement tweet, it's just really, you're looking to get engagement and that can look like a lot of different things. So, if you post videos of yourself on Twitter of you making beats or showing yourself make a beat or whatever, and I know I'm talking a lot about being in front of the camera. If you're not the type of person to show yourself in the camera, then find another creative way to show off what you do where people would be interested. And also for your tweets, I would get the suggestion to you, be yourself. I had to learn that. Find your own personality when it comes to Twitter and people will definitely vibe with that and like that you're just being human and being yourself. So Twitter is the way to go. Number three, Instagram. I love Instagram. It's my personal favorite. Um, and Instagram is something I've been using for a minute now, uh, since like 2013, 2014. And I started my mini producer page in 2016. So I've been on Instagram for a while now and I love it. Now, I would say for Instagram, again, content is king, video is king. And I would say putting out videos um, again, you can show yourself making beats or you can be teaching people, you can do skits. It really is up to you on what kind of content you want to put out. And something that I learned is also finding out what is your ideal customer avatar. So what type of people are you trying to reach? And that can help you with the type of messaging that you put on Instagram, how you talk to people on Instagram and just your social media platforms in general. And you'll attract those certain type of artists. Listen, I'm having to redo my customer avatar right now. So, you know, we're right here with each other. So, um, Instagram is just a great way, as you all know, to put videos and pictures. And I personally love it for music producers because you can really build a community on there. And community is key for all of this when it comes to using social media platforms about building your community. So, Instagram is the way to go. I'm on Instagram. Mini producer, check me out. Number four is Facebook. Facebook. Now, I know a lot of y'all like, oh, my parents are on Facebook. My grandma, you know, my granddad is on Facebook. I get it. My my grandmother's on Facebook, honestly. Um, but you can also use Facebook for Facebook ads. I am the master of Facebook ads. No, but I use Facebook ads and it was definitely profitable for me. Um, and I utilized it to reach a whole new audience. It helped me build up an email list of thousands of beat buying customers, so I would definitely suggest Facebook. And you can also get your Facebook page popping with content and putting it up there, so I would suggest it. Number five, right here on YouTube. Get on YouTube because putting out videos, whether it's beat videos, whether it's tutorials, there's a bunch of content that you can put. I'm vlogging, as you can see. You can do a lot when it comes to YouTube. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there, however, there's no, there's nothing else to say. YouTube is great. I mean, YouTube has a bunch, it's a big search engine. Get on YouTube, get on these social media platforms, have fun, and most importantly, be yourself. Until the next time, I will see y'all later. Drop a comment about the social media platform that you love and enjoy to use. I'll see y'all. Peace out.